In this world, after death, all souls have to step into the judgment realm. Passing through the Mirror River, each soul treads their weary way to a place that determines their afterlife. Every of them possesses a stone that will turn into a music disc to reflect their past life. Then the judge will impose an appropriate sentence. Will the melody be pleased him for the soul to earn a ticket to heaven? Or will they suffer under the inferno hell in perpetuity? While all of the souls are busy lining up, a young soul is drowning himself in endless anxiety and fear. He is Chetain. Chetain has extremely low confidence in his stone. His distrust slowly turns into fear, and that growing fear seemingly transforms itself into a real entity. The little demon whispers about some upcoming terrible scenes that might happen to him. Struggle to wake up from the horrifying imaginary prospects. Chetan still has to continue his journey. Travel past gate, Chetan sees a big river whose other bank is the place for the last judgment. Along with other souls, the boat carries Chetan downstream. Chetan's fear rises again, that makes another devil pops out of his head. The two devils collaborate to tease him. Suddenly, a number of mirrors appears and reflects his inner fear. Chetain used to be a famous artist. In a big competition, he accidentally splashed a large amount of ink to his painting. He believed that his mistake would make him be excluded from the competition. But Chetain won the prize in the end. That prize made him become a famous artist and his career ladder was marked with more success. But in his mind, Chetan always thought that what he gained was due to his heavenly luck. Gradually, Chetan thought he was an overrated artist, an imposter. The screen breaks the peace and unfortunately, Chetan wakes up the Maraca. A mythical sea creature that ready to fight anyone who disturb its nap. The Maraca then chases after him in silence and attacks him. In a moment of panic when he was thrown up, the stone slips away from his hand. Chetan falls into a mysterious mirror then disappears. Traversing through the mirror, Chetan finds himself in a rather strange room. All these flamboyant things make Chetan ashamed of his petty stone. As a devilish triad, they point to a wall behind a sleeping monster and urge him to steal a random stone. The fear once again dominates his mind. Chetan steps closer to the alluring stones. Following its instinct, the monster is about to attack Chetan. While the monster neglect, he escaped. Suddenly, a vortex appears under Chetan's feet. Now, standing in front of him is an enigmatic and omnipresent judge. Undoubtedly, he is the master of this realm controls and decides the fate of all souls. Chetan's lost stone is in the judge's hands. Is the action a nightmare of Chetan? Ah! 
the devils appears and witches that his life has all revolved around luck. So the stone must be manifesting itself into a terrible song. Due to ill-advised words, Chetain falls down. The judge identifies that the devil's coming from the inner fear of Chatton. He then wields his power. Finally, the decisive moment has come. It was revealed that what he did was his diligence, not his luck. And the stone has finally completed its mission. He finally can define his sense of self. Chetain is now one step closer to eternal happiness.